get your notebooks out. Um, you should have in your hand your 90-day uh, plan for my eyes only. For 90 days, October, November, and December, you've already instituted your savings. I don't care if it's a dollar. You'll never be broke again. How many of y'all already made that vow? Never again will I get down to, uh-oh, uh-oh, you're dying on me. Uh-oh. Never will I get down to zero. I may have zero calories, but you won't have zero money. All right, uh, the 10 reasons why you need money. Uh, number three, the pager is ready. You got big plans. You got legacy. Number three. Number three is money creates a place for memorial prayers. Money creates a place for memorial prayers. One more time. Money creates a place for memorial prayers. Prayers. Acts chapter 10. Money creates a place for memorial prayers. Acts chapter 10. I may leave begin at verse 1. Cornelius. Read. That wasn't a rock band. That was a military band. Might be trying to download some uh, music from familiar to your heart. It was a military type band. Read. Gabby was walking like five feet behind you. She Muslim now? You don't know Muslim or what? <laughs> don't walk five feet behind her, Gabby. She said, Mom, I look where her beeb at. She Muslim. Anyway, I just like messing with Gabby. That's how she knows she's a family member. So read. What, 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 what about Cornelius now? He was devout. He wasn't no Rudy Poo. Let's just keep honest. Read. He feared God. Hebrew era, era, Zurich, he feared God. Okay, read. Uh-oh, uh-oh, had his house in order. Yeah, he the priest in that home. He fears God. Everyone has to line up behind him. Joshua said, for me and my house. That wasn't this Joshua. <laughs> so the priest, I think I got all my little women livers here. They just hiding. <laughs> I'll say amen, but let me get one. Keep on running. I ain't get no amen on that. I know anyway. Uh, <laughs> Joshua said, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Saint Jude's is, but the priest right there sets the tempo. The tempo. Your wife didn't work, but she can't keep up with the tempo. That's a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Glenda. Glenda, I ain't worried. I ain't worried about your tempo. You got me some money put aside. I'll walk out of here. <laughs> Amen. Uh. broke again. I meant what I said. I meant what I said. I went and got Zoe's social security number. I ain't. Read. Cornelius. Um, uh, put your butt. Money. Money. Because money, money arms. 
No, you want all for me, just me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No, money. He gave much alms, much, mucho. Read. People and pray to God always, right? Read. Ah, so the ninth hour, the ninth hour, the ninth hour, huh? Uh, uh, the ninth hour, you going to get a vision of what your prayer, fasting, and money did for you. So three o'clock will never be the same, huh? I don't care what's going on at 245, Nathan is going to say at 3 right about now. All right? Now, I didn't get this out of the book. Uh, because of your money, every day, you know how we uh, celebrate Memorial Day once a year? Not if you've given money. Every day that you have given a memorial offering, huh? has the potential to be Memorial Day. All right, so now we have Memorial Day. Today could be Memorial Day for you. You cannot, you cannot convince Tamika because Tamika sat outside his church, was crying because somebody, her, her ex-husband had a fender bender and he's on her insurance policy. And she was crying, just left here from praying somebody, and was crying, huh? But she was faithful. She was broke. She was living at home. She had two kids. Husband wrote her a divorce letter, huh? She was given $40 ties, but she was faithful. She was faithful with her $40. And she was still trying to bless people broke. Lo and behold, she runs, huh? trying to clean and work part-time, runs into the right house, a Muslim house, huh? Muslim house, works there. The lady goes to Jerusalem, gets to the Wailing Wall, and feels the presence of God. She comes back. She tells Tamika, I got to have you around me. Huh? Huh? So she got to have you around me. I got to have you around me. I felt God. You are my link to Jesus. Huh? My link. Huh? She tried to work for the post office. The lady said, no, they messing up my link to Jesus time. So the lady pays her $1,500, $2,000 a month just to be around her. Huh? Tells us you can clean, you can cut the grass, but I need you around me. Let's get back to that car, huh? So that $40, amen, the angels were around and they were talking about her $40. It was a memorial, amen, to God. And so one day the lady said, let's go to a dealership. The lady goes to the dealership, points out a car she wants her to have, amen, and said, we'll take your car. Uh, anybody want to uh, uh, praise God for Memorial Day? Amen. You sitting here thinking God done forgot. God can't forget. He remembered Noah. He remembered Rachel. He remembered David, huh? He remembered God. Remember your money, amen, is a memorial. We'll take your car and pay it off because we want you to have this. And will you just pay us a, a memorial? We're not talking about your tithe that already belongs to God. We ain't talking about your offering. We talking about you gave a memorial offering, amen. A sacrifice that you didn't forgot about, but God hasn't forgot about. Memorial Day. So around about 3 o'clock, it became Memorial Day in Cornelius' house. Memorial. Mm. Do not marry a non-tither. Do not kick it with a non-tither. Okay? Memorial Day. It said read. Told you, three o'clock. 
something like that. Three o'clock, angel, it's about time, ain't it, angel? Three o'clock. I know it reminds us of Gethsemane and all that, but it's angel. Three o'clock. So come three o'clock, all you memorial offering givers, ain't no telling what's going to happen. Memorial Day. So when someone say, well, how did you get that? Memorial Day. Well, how did that happen? Memorial Day. Well, ah, you're just a smart ass. You can only have Memorial Day once a year. No, you can only have Memorial Day once a year. I can have Memorial Day 306. I can have Memorial Day as many times as I gave a memorial offering. That 20 you slipped somebody. God put you on, put somebody on your heart. And all you ridiculous, crazy, five-figure offering people, you got one in here. That one reading is a, ain't no telling what happened. She literally could have. If she get a million before noon, it's only going to be like about 800 because she going to get, man, she can't help it. Amen. All that negative stuff was trying to convince her that God was going to forget. He can't forget that. He ain't never going to forget that. He cannot. It's a memorial. And you with somebody struggling on 10 cents on that. You ain't going to have no memorial. Day. You wait till the 30th or whatever those other folks grill. <laughs> huh? If, if, if you have Memorial Day on the 30th or whatever, you ain't listening. Other folk told you that's what happened. What happens when you put God at the end of your button? You ain't supposed to even come to this class. You're supposed to be asleep. Because you need all the rest you can to suffer. You shouldn't even come here. Who you fooling? I, I, I mean, I know your records. Every other month, come on now. Every three weeks, every three months, you should be home sleep. This is for people who are serious. This is for people who got their 90 day plan. This is for people, huh, who are going to take dominion. These are for people mad at the devil. They're going to use their money to create legacy. Huh? Huh? That devil who came to kill, steal, and destroy, they're going to get him back for every one of his attributes. You understand? Memorial. Talk, Cordelius. What happened? I'll show you. Thank you, baby. She got to think about her money. She lost track. Verse 3. Talk. See, the angel, angel ain't going around, uh, which one was it, God? <laughs> now, the angel will call your name out. Huh? So, you at work, you your, your temporary work at three, and you hear your name, you like, I hear your angel. Yeah, it's me. Or who you talking to? It ain't you. Don't. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> shh. I'm trying to get some financial instruction. <laughs> huh? Call his name out. Write yourself a note. My name will be called out. When I hear my name, I know it's Memorial Day. Three. You won't be afraid. You know why you're getting a visitation. Read. Look, this is what the angel said. Read. Thy prayers. Huh? Thy prayers. Thy prayers and, and thy arms. So prayers alone cannot create a memorial. Uh, 
and thy arms. That's the power of money, which is a defense which you need. Okay? So watch this now. The lady that she works for, temporarily, who also put the money down for the book, the lady did not go to the dealership praying. She got money. See, some of y'all say, I'm a prayer warrior, but you broke. You need to be a prayer and money warrior. <laughs> so when you get up, you can go home. Always giving you a ride to pray. <laughs> oh, you need some money. All right, yeah, I'll laugh because you need some money. <laughs> thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before who? Before God. Write this. I'm on slew of time. I tell you, I'm getting up at 10 15 again. Thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before God. Any day or every day can be Memorial Day. Any day or every day can be Memorial Day. Every day at the ninth hour, every day at the ninth hour, you are a candidate for a visitation. Huh? Now, some of y'all real serious. You're you going you to start scheduling your break around three. Just <laughs> your potty break. Now, they're going to keep, they're going to figure out that you ain't never flushing. So, what you doing? Okay. I'm, I'm getting ready for my business meeting. All right? Write this down. God heard Cornelius' prayer and remembered his giving. God remembers giving. God remembers our financial. Now, now, watch this. Remember, memorial is not your tithe. How are you going to give God a memorial of what belongs to him? Your free will offering, your, your, your memorial, your sacrificial becomes a memorial. Huh? So I could, I could expect the next time, see, I remember service in September. I got to studying this and got to thinking about my sacrificial offerings. Ain't no telling what I have by next time y'all see me. I may not be in town. I might be closing on something. No, I ain't no telling. I might post up on Facebook for some haters. I may not. You post it for me. Because huh? September was the month I blessed the man of God, a hierarchy in the uh, 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 apostolic hierarchy. Every month in September, I blessed the man of God to come in town with a king. Man, I'll get on your nerves telling you how blessed I'm about to be. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. Huh? <laughs> Don't fool around let somebody buy my website and domain and say, we want, we just want what's in your creative mind. Ooh, man. There you go trying to make an appointment with your broke self. Mm. Man, September. Make me want to download the Earth, Wind, and Fire song. September. Do you remember? Yes. Does God remember? That's for me. I can't because you ain't never gave no memorial offering. You wait till the 30th. You grill. You barbecue. You have a block party. God remembers. Remembers. You're going to become a minority in this church. Huh? You're going to become a minority, and folk won't have pity on you. They only have pity on new baby saints to come in. And then they'll bypass you. <laughs> right? So you don't have nothing because you weren't listening. Okay? You made a vow to be impoverished. You made a buy here, pay here, payday loan <laughs> vow. Ooh, that's heartbreaking. Uh, breakthroughs. That came through memorial offerings are viable when prayers alone do not suffice. All right. So write this down. God honors a memorial offering. Money can be a memorial unto God, but you cannot give it if you don't have it. Okay? 
Brother Sluter uh, uh, inboxed me. This family is serious. They're not satisfied with one compound. They need some more. Not more, more. <laughs> so they've been doing these vows and consecrations, and they sent them to me and said, do they line up? Man, I line up. You better believe it. Yeah, they line up. It's word. So I told them that, that, that uh, this is, some of you already know this, but Psalm 145 is another key psalm to increase livelihood or parnasa. It's Psalm 145 that Crystal kept repeating and walked in that gym and came out with $25,000. Huh? Psalm 145. Get it for me real quick. You're trying to look at my nose. Little cheater. No, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just messing with you, faithful. I'm just messing with you. I got to go outside and make sure you didn't come in a new Benz or something. Amen. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm okay. Man, just, okay. You'll see. You will see. Psalm 145. They ain't got time to see the, hear, read the whole thing. They, they, uh, let's try uh, verse 14. Oh, no, 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 no. Verse 10. All thy works. Read. Praise thee. Read. The who? No, ain't. Church people. Big difference. All the saints shall bless thee. Read. So from here on out, none of the saints are going to have a problem with money. Uh, Collins family. Folks just fighting y'all and had to make some moves. You got the kids in the building, right? The business in the back on air mattress, right? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because I'm getting y'all some bunk beds. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just like that. Just like that. Amen. So today is Memorial Day for them. And it won't cost you a dime. I just need an address. And they will drop them off. Oh, it feels good to be me. Oh, here, uh oh, here comes seeds. Don't, don't crush me. Don't, don't crush me. I'm. Y'all don't have to do that. I'm doing that, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Somebody's like, ooh, get my, uh, I just put this on the floor. I just stomp it out. Stop messing up my shoes. Man, I got these in Paris. Anyway. Serious place, Darnell. You came in the nick of time. Hmm? There's so much happening. I would get on your last nerve telling you all the things that's happening in the church. And the people. I done blew up. I got me a photographer. Don't want me to use her name. Want to use initials. <laughs> Stand up, baby. Come around. Get, get some more. Hey, you got to learn how to take it. Nah, nah, nah. That should be illegal. That's the picture that will be sent to that clothing company. That's the picture that will accompany me to Paris at the auto show. I will have photographs. 
Let's see if that's enough hate. Let's let's try the hate meter. Okay, you got it. All because she listens. Huh? She listens. There's so much going on. Because there's a shift for the minion. I got some for you. Yeah. You familiar with St. John's? Because St. John has, uh, you know, they had the women's, but they also had St. John's home. Okay. So I had this other house and I had this stuff. St. John's home. I got my place setting. It's yours. Man, I feel like money, huh? That stuff just been sitting in my basement. Don't crush me, I'm tender. Y'all some strong members. ago. It's just sitting in the basement. Yeah, get rid of that baby. Get, get, get rid of that baby. Get rid of that baby. Get rid of that. How you like that? Wait till you see this stuff. I'm just warming up. Uh, fourth point. Money. Thank you. Money creates a beginning. How about that? A beginning. <laughs> a beginning. Back to the Sluter family. So Psalm 145 and verse 16. Oh, yeah. Why don't y'all help me? Y'all don't be scared. Go back to Psalm 145. I'm losing my mind. Uh, look at verse 11. Verse 12. 13. Uh-oh, here we go, Dominion. Read. All generations. Read. All those to be bowed down. Read. Memorial Day. Read. So, so somebody said, so, so, so all those sacrificial offerings, just stack, my stuff is just stacking up. Huh? My stuff stacking up, just stacking where it's supposed to be. Read. Now open this our hand. Uh, when I went to Paris, I went to this this live show. This thing got crazy stuff, stemware and all that crazy stuff. But I saw this hand. This hand. I bought it. It sits on this table. This hand made of pewter. It's because of that scripture. I would see it like that's the hand of God. It's little, but that's the hand of God. Read. Uh huh. Read. Look at verse 19. Somebody anointed, thank God for increase. (laughs) 
I'm talking about in the next 90 days. Increase. Increase. My money. Your money will start a new beginning in the Carlisle house. Because it's a seed. A seed stops a cycle. You women know that. A seed stops a cycle. A seed stops your cycle. Which is a new beginning. Okay? Watch this now. You don't believe that's God? Jesus said, I am the alpha. The what? The beginning. Oh, man, oh, I just helped somebody. Uh, the beginning and the ending. Money starts a new beginning. Okay? Find that. Uh, Genesis chapter 28. Told you. Church that will never be broke. <laughs> That's what I'm shooting for. Those rampant sinners get the rest of my life off. <laughs> Genesis chapter 28. I'm almost done. I'm coming under the clock. Look at me with my black set. <laughs> Check this out. I'm happy for me. I'm so happy for me I can't contain myself. Amen. I'm happy I survived another week. Amen. I'm happy. Oh, you act like you're happy for me. I am happy. Verse 20. Genesis 28, 20. Money starts a new beginning. All right, Jacob. We vow to vow. Yes, sir. Woo, he vowed a vow and ran smack dab into a banger. That's another topic. Uh, read. Bread to eat. Now look at Jacob. He said, if God, I'm out here by myself, it's dark. Pillar for stones. I didn't see a vision. He's gonna wake you up, Brandy. Anytime God tell a man to go to the church so he can see some real power, at any time God can wake that man up and say, "I see a vision. I have a vision." If God do thus for us, if God do this, if I get on the police for it, if God, you let me, man, somebody make a vow real quick. Amen. If you do that for me, God, I will forever give you the 10. I know somebody in, man, I hate being right. If I'm right, somebody is wrong. I hate being right. I told somebody, you can't come in the house of God. Pull something out. God bless you. Get you a job. Let you qualify. God bless you. And you still won't honor him with your giving? I got some information I wasn't even looking for. About to blow their life up. No, not about to. Like blowing up. Forget. You just going to keep receiving, 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 receiving. Don't work like that. Okay? The worst thing in the world you can do is hook up with a non-giver. Brooke Benton, old uh, young folk who uh, uh, need to listen to some old music, it's just a matter of time. Okay? Every priest has a right to ask you, you tithing? You better learn to do your own nails. Slap some grease on your face. Every priest. Mm, you playing check, a, a Chinese checkers with my blessing. And if you both in cahoots together, Acts chapter 5 for you. 
ain't had nothing to do with the Holy Ghost. Okay? That's real. That's the worst thing in the world. I know you nod your head, but you in love with all kind of heathens who you going to make pay tithes. No, they not either. Okay? Somebody hooked up with a non-man. They have a right to leave him sleeping and get back because their life has not increased. It, it, well, but I heard they got blessed. Uh, the goodness of God supposed to lead men to repentance. He blessed you. Who in here got blessed before they was right? All right, then. All right, then. That's some dangerous stuff. <laughs> dangerous moves. Man, I need God to cover my little Zoe. My little Zoe was running. They said she fell, and she said, I hit my head. That's all right. That head already been dipped in the blood of Jesus before you fail. Huh? Y'all don't believe in little stuff like that, do you? So he made a vow. Look at verse 21. Verse 22, because money creates a, a beginning. Read. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. But next chapter, he run into a banger. Rachel. That's chapter 29. The chapter after that, verse 30. Huh? So watch it now. So the right woman is better than money. Because the right woman will bring some money. Huh? I'm saying it again. The right the wrong woman gonna cost you some money. Okay? The right woman, remember I taught that Osher? Wealth comes with her. Uh, chapter 30, let's look at verse 43. Let's see what happens. 43. That same man. That same man who was outside, Darnell. Got good spirit, Darnell. Outside, sleeping on pillows, made a vow. Next chapter, he run into a banger. Huh? Caused him to have supernatural strength. Huh? Because, you know, he trying to impress her. The stone's up there blocking the well. He's like, y'all see that? Uh-uh. Move that out the way. I know. Your little, your little, your little heathen ain't never tried to impress you. Still wearing this pants you bought him from Oak Tree. <laughs> what's, that, what's, that, what's the name of that land? Brian Brandon Clover? Chief, yeah, Oak Tree, yeah, yeah. You just want to take care of a ninja. You in the you in the you in the uh, ninja subsistence program? <laughs> oh man, huh? Read. Miley, you was in a humane society program, uh huh? Hey, she repented. She got her some new skinwear coming. She ain't studying, y'all. She care less. Man, if I'd have gave you that with those heathens, they've been taking that stuff via sauce. <laughs> You'll see. It's the, and, and, and no one, it was all for decoration. No one has ate out of this stuff. This stuff is brand new. It's got dust on it. Ain't nobody ate on it. I ain't buying no for some. I remember get you my paper plate and some styrofoam cups. This, just, this, this is just for. This, this, this is just for decoration. Silly stuff. I don't need no more. Okay. Read. He did what? He got a banger? He, 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 he outside, he homeless outside. Next chapter, he makes a vow. Next, that's why I, I told a real man. 
financial little situation, which which is good, so they won't be arrogant because they're gonna be rich. All right, he's 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 one of these men. That guy who think he like you was like him, would have done that, but he's not. You think he is, but he's not. Okay, this dude in his church, he he pulls that trigger even though he has no point of reference. He gets shaky now. Yeah, uh, come on, when you ain't got no point of reference, you get shaky. But, man, he, 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 he pulls the trigger. Well, of course, now Satan just tries to mess with him because his problem is he's analytical. He analyzes everything. Huh? Faith does not come by analysis. Okay? Without analysis, it's impossible to please God. You can't find that scripture, okay? You can't find it. So, so I, I hit him up. You hit me with some problem, hit him up. You a tither. Act like it. Look at people like, have you ever told me that? No, 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 because you don't have my number. Yeah, well, I ain't telling you that. You a tither. Act like it. In other words, that's like, when, remember boxing when Sugar Ray Linda was in the corner and he was losing, his eye was blowing up, and Angela Dundee said, you blowing it, kid, you blowing it. I was like, man, he went out there and tried to rearrange Tommy Hearns' liver. He displaced it. <laughs> no, yeah, he did. Yeah, he tried to kill him. Ray Leonard had that, that, that something. So I told this man, I said, you a tither, act like it. He tells his wife, Bishop said, I'm a tither, act like it. In other words, get out of analysis and go back to faith. Huh? Go back to faith and believe in God. And so this man, this man Jacob does that. Now he increases. Single women, you can't, but I know, I know. Brandon Lee, thank you. Ooh, thank God you're over there praying for me. No matter what I say. The porcupine in you going to give him another chance. The porcupine. Right? You clap, you come on Tuesday, but you just really think that pants sagging, uh, a boxer, you're going to transform him. How can you transform him when God hasn't transformed you? Okay. You wait on a man of God. Huh? And you got to have a kind of friend that when you start whispering moonwalking back in your lust, they say, shut up and don't bring his name up again. <laughs> Click. Something wrong with your phone? No, your conversation. You trying to get me to sign off with your lust. He's not the one. He's not a man of God. Click and don't bring his name Because I want a man, read it again, who's going to increase. You've already been poor. You've already struggled. You've already been number two, number five, number six. And that's not a promotion that you know. And get off the internet with your thirsty self. You attract those kind of bums. Read 43. You want this kind of man. What's your man increase in? Child support? <laughs> increase in felonies? <clears throat> Want to increase. Read. Much women? No, cattle, baby. <laughs> what else? Uh, have some servants. Mary made. <laughs> what else? He wasn't gay either. He needs, <laughs> he needs somebody to do some heavy lifting. <laughs> Read. <laughs> I almost said JV. I didn't say that. So. And camels. <laughs> SUVs. Let's try that. Read. Oh, well. 
I've said too much to expound on that. Huh? Rolling Stone said, I'll never be your beast of burden. <laughs> huh? But we had beast of burden. The same man, Darnell, that was out sleeping. <laughs> At Levi Carter Park. Two chapters old, we got a beggar, now he rolling. All right? Has a new beginning. He's rolling so tough. Man, track him down. He has a jealous brother because your brother will be jealous. <laughs> Ooh, when they try to do what you do, but they don't have your anointing. Oh, I'm on something now. Huh? Had a jealous brother, uh, but to calm his jealousy, he, he puts a big offering together for him. Big offering. He had three or four people line up, and we all, oh, when you run into him, you give him. He said, this is for you, Esau. Next one, this is for you, Esau. Uh, he, he gave the hate out that man. Ooh, Lord have mercy. And that caused the angel. Uh, Hebrew reads different. Hebrew, I know all you like to he wrestled with God. In Hebrew, he, they said he wrestled with Esau. But don't, 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 don't get no cogic argument. We'll just believe your Bible is right. Whatever it was, huh? it was a new beginning. That offering he got for his brother, he didn't have no offering in chapter 28. Read it for yourself. He didn't have no offering. Come chapter 30, 32. Man, he got lines of folk because no one person can hold the blessing that he going to give. He got to have a lineup of folk to bring it. Mm. Somebody in here. I ain't even talking about Jacob no more. I'm talking about you. Huh? I'm talking about you. Huh? <laughs> it would mess y'all up. If that billionaire, that man who wrote <laughs> a check for $600 million, what I owe y'all that day, if he can't sleep because Crystal Simpson is on his mind. Hold up, you say, okay, she make, she make none of your business, but she make big money. But this man's a billionaire. Okay, and the school systems are messed up because you sit there and go, I'm at the top of my field. No, you're not. Because somebody could have you run a private institution where now, so watch this now. So he, what, what's his name? Michael Milliken. So Mr. Milliken comes in, he can't, because his, his mother loves Crystal. So, man, all of a sudden, they like that award winner, her Crystal. I keep seeing her face. I keep seeing her face. I keep seeing her face. Where she's still in Omaha, Nebraska. So you look up at Lloyd Dodge, here come Mike Milliken. Miss Simpson, I'm going to offer you, I want you to go and find other Crystal Simpsons. And your base salary will be one million dollars. Huh? So Crystal, she runs and she goes get Michelle. She runs and she goes get Star. She run. So now Star ain't looking for a building. She got buildings. Hey, Amen. And If you think you have reached the apex of your blessing, rebuke yourself. Amen. God don't care how much money you make. Amen. He will top it. Somebody give God some praise. You got Memorial Day coming. It already happened once. 
Are y'all hearing me? Wow. We're just talking about Jacob for a minute. Every head bowed.